हेलो एवरी वन माय नेम इज एस एन पाटिल दिस इज द फोर्थ वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन द टॉपिक न्यूमेरिकल डिफरेंशिएशन इन दिस टॉपिक वी विल डिस्कस मैक्सिमा मिनिमा ऑफ टेबुलेटेड फंक्शन फॉर मैक्सिमा मिनिमा वी कंसीडर फर्स्ट ऑर्डर डेरिटिव ऑफ न्यूटन फॉरवर्ड इंटरपोलेशन फॉर्म्यूला ओके फॉर ऑप्टेनिंग मैक्सिम एंड मिनिमम वैल्यूज ऑफ वाई इज इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ एक्स वी इक्वेट द डेरेटिव dy by dx to the zero and solve it. So here, after solving this, we get the values of p. We get p, and then x is equal to x naught plus p h. At this point, we find y is maximum or minimum. Suppose there are more than one critical points are there here. In equation one, if we get the more than one critical point, we can apply the uh, second condition. Take the again second order derivative. Means differentiate this equation with respect to x. Then we get the second order derivative with respect to x. Okay. So here, here, uh, one upon h square in bracket here the p is absent the derivative of p with respect to p actually we differentiate with respect to p here so here we get the uh, 2 divided by 2 factorial that is the 1 okay that is second order derivative second order forward difference at y naught now here here the derivative is 6p minus 6 Okay, and divided by the 6 factorial, the 6 will be cancelled. Okay, the derivative of 2 is 0. Okay, so we get here the 6 will common. That is P minus 1 third order dip, uh, forward difference at Y naught. Okay, and so on. So find out this value at this uh, point, at this X. If this value is is positive if positive then y is minimum at x if this value is negative y is maximum at x okay so let us take the example on this topic so we have the question find the maximum value of f of x from the following table. First of all, we use Newton forward interpolation formula and consider its first order derivative and equate this first order derivative to the zero. Okay, so we construct first forward difference table. So this is the forward difference table for the given data. Okay, here the h, h means step size in x is one and the x naught means initial value first is 3 then first order formula first order formula is 1 upon h the first order derivative is 1 upon h first order forward difference y naught plus 2 times p minus 1 divided by 2 second order forward difference at y naught plus 3 times p square minus 6p plus 2 divided by 6, third order forward difference at y0 and so on is equal to 0. We equate this to the 0 for obtaining maxima and minima. Now simplify this bracket. There are two terms, 1 upon h and bracket whose product is 0. 1 upon h never 0. See the h is 1. So the square bracket is 0. Okay. So we, the square bracket is, is equal to 0. Now substitute the value of the del y0 means first forward difference that is the this is the first forward difference value del y0. This is the second del square y0. The third one is 0. Okay, we consider the only first three term uh, remaining term we neglect it. Okay, after putting this and solve this equation for p then we get here the only one value of the p because here the value become 0. Okay. 
Now this value is remaining and simply by we get value of the P is 2.6875. Okay. Now X is equal to X naught plus H. The value of the X naught is 3. That is the first value. P is 2.68 and into H. H is 1. That is 3 plus 2 point something means 5.6875. This is the X. Okay. Now this value we substitute in Newton power interpolation formula the value of the P okay the Y naught is a first value P is 2.6875 the first power difference we already mentioned then second power difference the third one is 0 the third forward third order forward difference is 0 okay now simplify this then we get y is equal to 0 0.2628 corresponding to x. The x is 5.6875. Okay. That is the maximum value of f of x is 0 0.2628 at x is equal to 5.6875. Okay. Now second example. <coughs> so here the question for maximum and minimum values of the table to find the maximum and minimum value of the function to so we equate the derivative of the Newton forward interpolation formula dy by dx to the zero okay so first we construct the forward difference table this is the forward difference table forward difference table is obtained by this minus this we get 0 0.25 this minus this we get minus 0 0.25 this minus this we get 2.25 this minus this we get 13.75 this minus this we get 14.25 similarly here this minus this minus 0 0.25 minus 0 0.25 that is minus 0 0.50 similarly for remaining okay third order fourth order and fifth order okay so here the h is uh, one the step size is one and the first initial value x naught is zero by newton forward interpolation formula and we differentiate it then first order derivative term is okay and we equate this term to the zero okay that is the the bracket is equal to is equal to zero okay now first put the value of first order forward difference this is the first order forward difference that is uh, del y naught then this is the second order y naught this value this is the third order why not okay substitute this all these value here and solve this equation for p after solving this we get the cubic polynomial means it has the three roots so here the 4p is common 4p is common see the 4 time p is common here remaining p square minus 3 time p plus 2 is equal to 0. So there are 3 terms whose product is 0. 4 never 0. P is 0. And this bracket is 0. After solving this bracket, we get P is equal to 1 and 2. So there are 3 roots. P is equal to 0 or P is equal to 1 or P is equal to 2. Okay. In this way, we get the 3 critical points. Okay. Now let us discuss the whether at which point the function y is equal to f of x maximum or minimum okay so for that we calculate again second order derivative so this is the formula of second order derivative now substitute the value of first value x equal to 0 means x equal to 0 means actually x is equal to x naught plus p h the x naught initial value is 0 okay now p into h h is 1 okay means the p is x is equal to as it is p that is x equal to 0 when we put p is equal to 0 here we get the positive value the del square is 0 minus 0 0.50 substitute here del cube substitute substitute here fourth order difference substitute here we get at x equal to 0 and x is equal to 2 we get the positive derivative second order positive value it means the function is minimum at x equal to 0 and x equal to 2. 
and its minimum value see the value of the f of 0 x is 0 put 0 here which is 0 and f of 2 the minimum value also 0 okay now Sec when we put calculate the second order derivative at x equal to 1 we get the negative value substitute here in this suppose this is a uh, this is equation 1 suppose substitute here x is equal to 1 then we get negative value it means the function is maximum at x equal to 1 and at x is equal to 1 the value is 0. 25 the value of f of x the maximum value of f of x is 0 0.25 at x is equal to 1 okay thank you in this way we calculate the maximum and minimum value of the function